Hello everyone, welcome to this EmberFund tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to set up your EmberFund account and get started investing. To begin, after installing EmberFund on the App Store or Play Store, you will see this screen when opening the app. You will be prompted to create a username, email, and password for your account. After you have created a username, email, and password, please make sure you save this information somewhere safe. Since EmberFund is a non-custodial app, we do not hold any of your personal information. Your username and password are your private keys to your account. Please make sure to never share this information with anyone you do not trust. This includes anyone at EmberFund. All you would need to do from here is click on these three different bullet points and press continue. Once you have done so, you will now be prompted to enter a PIN code. This PIN code will be used anytime you want to change any settings to your account, such as your password. Now, you have successfully set up your EmberFund account. We encourage you to look through our various portfolios and get an understanding of the different strategies that drive each portfolio's mission. Please make sure you take a look at the minimum deposit required to invest in the portfolio of your choice before adding funds to your wallet. To start investing in any one of our portfolios, you will need to fund your Ember wallet with some Bitcoin. You can do this by either clicking on invest under any of the portfolios or clicking on fund this Bitcoin wallet in the wallet tab. You will now be presented with three options to choose from. One is to deposit Bitcoin from another Bitcoin wallet, withdraw Bitcoin from your Coinbase account, buy Bitcoin with any one of our on-ramp partners. Let's start with how to deposit Bitcoin from another Bitcoin wallet. To deposit Bitcoin from another Bitcoin wallet, you will need to copy this address and paste it into the platform of your choice. From there, you can choose how much Bitcoin you would want to send over to your Ember Fund wallet. When you are choosing to withdraw Bitcoin from your Coinbase account, you will be prompted to add the amount of Bitcoin you wish to withdraw. The Coinbase screen is a bit confusing here because they state that the amount you put in is for a monthly withdrawal. We want to make it clear that this is not the case. The way your Coinbase account is set up with your Ember Fund account is that there will be a one-time withdrawal, not a monthly withdrawal. The last option here is to use one of our on-ramp partners to buy Bitcoin with your credit card. Depending on which region you are in, you will be presented one of our four on-ramp partners. For me, it is showing Gem. We also have Simplex, MoonPay, and Wire. Please note that when you are using one of our on-ramp partners, it may take a few business days for the funds to fully reflect inside of your Ember Fund wallet. Now that you have funds in your wallet, when you click on invest in the invest tab, you will be able to allocate the amount of funds you'd like to spend to buy into the portfolio. Please make sure you take a good look at the transaction details before confirming your purchase. It can take some time for your purchase to completely finish processing. Note that it can take a few hours before all your funds are accurately reported on the app after purchase. I hope this video was informative and helped you better understand how to create your account and start investing. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at emberfund.io and we will make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.